Hello and good evening, everybody. Welcome to the third uh, webinar about the series Let's Discover the Volumetric Trading Platform. Uh, we will uh, be uh, getting started in a few minutes. Uh, I'll just allow a few people to, to get in. So I'll just a couple of minutes and we will be starting. Uh, for now, please, I hope everybody can hear me properly. Uh, if you wish, just leave me a feedback in the chat. Okay, great. Apparently, everything was great. Okay, so uh, welcome to this webinar. Tonight, we will be talking about the BWAP. So uh, after last the last two webinars, we have talked about uh, the uh, Volumetrica Trading Volsys platform, and we had an uh, overview about its main functionalities. Uh, today, we will be uh, starting about the uh, some, some more technical, okay? So uh, we will be starting our, our topics, talking about the, the VWAP indicator. So first of all, what is a VWAP? Uh, I've prepared the chart or with the uh, indicator already attached to the chart, then later on I will explain how to uh, how to set properly this indicator. Uh, first of all, let me just introduce this indicator and what it is useful for. So basically, VWAP is the abbreviation for volume weighted average price. Basically, this is a uh, tool uh, showing the ratio of a security price to its total trade volume. And uh, uh, it basically provides trades, uh, traders and investors with a measure of the average price at which uh, securities is traded over a given period of time. Uh, in fact, we can say that there are there, there can be different kinds of uh, VWAP. We can have a daily VWAP, we can have a weekly VWAP, we can have a yearly VWAP, okay? Because everything, its calculation is uh, based on time. Normally, we um, most of the analysis we will conduct on a, over a security uh, is applicable to the uh, daily VWAP because uh, this comes with a, a institutional meaning. Okay, so uh, let's say uh, the, the, the methods of analyze, analyzing VWAP can be conducted uh, mostly on uh, based on the daily VWAP as the one you can see it here. So what is it? Actually, uh, you can see many lines here on this chart. The daily VWAP is this yellow line you can see here, okay? And as you can see, it's showing you the price at which, uh, sorry, just a second. Okay, sorry about that. Yeah, I had a, a, a tiny te technical problem. So basically, that's showing us the uh, the amount of price at which uh, this is the average volume price uh, exchange at which this security, in this case the S and P five hundred, uh, this is the asset price. 
weighted to the uh, to its total trade volume. So basically, uh, this shows us a benchmark of what a good price for this security for the day is. So uh, this can show show us different things. For example, uh, uh, it's like a mover a moving average, but not based within a period of time. Uh, it is based on the uh, asset price compared to its total trading volume per per day. Okay, this is a daily view up. So. Uh, this is basically the asset price based on the total trade volume for the day. Uh, that comes with a very important institutional uh, meaning because from the institutional perspective, uh, VWAP, especially the daily one, is commonly used as a trading benchmark, uh, which of course is considered as such by large institutions and mutual funds. Uh, that means that uh, for example, right now, price is trading above VWAP, okay? So uh, that wouldn't be a good price to buy because the average price compared to its total volume trade throughout the day uh, was much lower, okay? So if an institution would like to buy an asset at this price, it wouldn't be that that efficient as a buy okay uh in addition to this the wap helps this institution to identify liquidity points where they can execute large orders without disrupting the market of course because uh after accumulating a position institution will compare the fill price to end of day VWAP values. So uh, basically, VWAP is a value that will uh, develop throughout the day, but uh, a, very in, a very large importance will uh, be the opening and closing price for the day where the VWAP, the VWAP will be at the end or at the beginning of the day. For example, we can see here, this is a five minutes chart. VWAP, of course, will start exactly at the same price where opening price is at the end of a day, because of course, uh, for example, today, uh, when the market has opened price was was here so basically that was the opening price let me just quickly change the color so it is easier to spot okay so market has opened here and VWAP was moving very close to the price because of course there hadn't been so much uh, trading at that point for the day. And as price develops, VWAP would follow the price where uh, there has been more trading activity. Okay. Uh, that gives us another clue because uh, during trending days, we will have a slope of the VWAP giving us an idea of, what, of how uh volume is moving according to the price okay uh, and of course for the very same reason as price develops and uh, uh continues to trade throughout the day vwap will reflect always slower what the average price of the uh, all the volume trading throughout the day will be so it will follow price uh, a little bit far far okay so uh, we can get two different informations from this indicator first of all its slope would tell us how price is moving it is moving whether it's trending, if volume is following the price move, and 
how price will react as the VWAP gets tested or gets touched. And in fact, we will be uh, talking uh, in a while about two different strategies we can uh, develop using VWAP. Okay. And another point of view, a very interesting point of view we should be considering about uh, using VWAP in our day trading plan is uh, considering and evaluating what happens when price moves quite far from it. Okay, because as you can see here, uh, I have plotted here on the chart three different standard deviations of the VWAP itself. What those what what do those lines represent? Each of these lines, which look more like proper bands, okay, uh, those would represent standard deviations level uh, upper standard deviation, uh, sorry, lower standard deviations and upper standard deviations, uh, which basically would represent a range where uh, price is likely is likely to be uh, included. So the mm, the principle behind it is the mean reverting principle. Uh, price is supposed to be for 90%, 95% of the time within the third standard deviation from the VWAP. It works a little bit exactly like Bollinger Bands, but unlike Bollinger Bands, this principle is more based on a volume analysis. So it's not uh, related to a, a average upon a specific period of time is based upon uh, the daily trading volume and at what price this volume was traded. Uh, that gives us the uh, a tool, a, a very nice tool, in order to uh, think about a possible strategy we can use uh, VWAP for. For example, as price gets and touch and we have some reaction on the uh, one of its uh, standard deviation what we are likely to see is a mean reversion to the main VWAP level okay why that comes with a uh, powerful <laughs> indication uh, which can be included of course in our trading plan uh, considering that whatever is below the VWAP is considered by institutions and by uh, traders as a cheap price to buy. And whatever is above the VWAP as a, an expensive price to sell, uh, it is easy to uh, understand that comes with the that is somehow connected with the principle of balanced price and unbalanced price. Uh, if a price comes to a discount area, of course, institutions and trade and traders, responsive buyers, traders will be more likely to uh, look at with interest at those cheap price and there will be more uh, prone to, to buy those prices. And that will uh, help price uh, getting back to its mean reversion value, which is represented exactly by the VWAP, okay? And the same thing will happen, would happen of course on the upper bands as price will reach price considered to be uh, expensive, so uh, interesting to sell. Institutions as well would consider those prices, uh, prices as uh, 
uh, a good fields, a good fields in if they are lo looking for a uh, uh, cell for cell uh, executions. So of course that um, it is quite uh, that makes sense in order to uh, trade those days which normally are considered as a train a range day okay so uh normally that um, would apply better to days where we have a flat view up so its slope wouldn't be too too much okay days where a view up is not too sloped uh, and the other the other uh, indication VWAP can tell us, can give us, is unlike this example, it's where days where we have a sloping VWAP, because in those cases, uh, its slope will give us an indication of trending days. So uh, in, that, in those days, we can use the VWAP itself as a very good point of support if we have a VWAP sloping upwards or otherwise downtrend where the VWAP is slowing downwards. And in these cases, what is price expecting to do according to this dynamic? VWAP would represent a good bouncing point, okay, for looking looking for trades uh, going towards the tr main trends direction. But of course, the uh, principle uh, I was telling you uh, about standard deviations, of course, would apply in uh, the opposite sense. That means. If price is supposed to be 90% of time within the third standard deviation, of course, the standard deviations will give us the levels for our target, an indication for our targets. For example, as you can see here, we had price has gone through the VWAP starting from its first down standard deviation. Okay, it has crossed the VWAP, and then we had a pullback, which has stopped exactly on the VWAP line. Okay, after that, here in this situation, we could have thought we could have thought about a long trade. Okay, why? Because we have gone already above the VWAP. So after price has reverted back to the VWAP level, of course, this could have been considered as a, a cheap price to buy, considering how uh, the majority of volume, the average number of volume has traded throughout the day and at which price, which is the value that VWAP gives us okay of course after price has reacted here on the vwap which is our expected target we have an expectation a good expectation of what a good target level could be based on the upper standard deviations so for example uh if we are planning to start our trade for a long trade from here our first target could have been here as soon as price has touched the first standard the first upper standard deviation okay this could have been easily our first target second target of course could have been at the second standard deviation uh, let's say, uh, in terms of uh, trade management in these cases, of course, this is not a 
trading strategies. It, it, I, I, I'm, I, what, I, what I want to focus on during these uh, webinars is just giving uh, volume principles, okay, in order to use those informations during our trades. And let's say in terms of uh, practical <laughs> application of these concepts, I would never uh, let the trade run until its third standard deviation. Why? Because we know that only only 95% only 5% of trade are expected statistically speaking going over the third standard deviation. Okay, so of course in terms of uh, probabilities uh, price are more likely to be included within the second standard deviation okay and of course this concept is applicable both in terms of a mean reverting trade and in terms of waiting for a pullback on a sloping VWAP in order to uh, get the price expansion towards the standard deviations number one and number two and of course uh, therefore we uh, we easily understand that the WAP and its standard deviations act like a dynamic support and resistance level uh, because of course when a security is trending we like to use VWAP to identify potential level and its um, standard deviations of course to identify potential level of support or resistance uh, in order to find actionable trades okay uh, of course well, as i was telling you at the beginning of the webinar uh one thing to note is that uh vwap is much more sensitive to price moves at the start of the day uh, then at the end of the session of course because uh, it is based on cumulative values which uh, get larger toward the end of the session so it will be it will take longer for the VWAP to uh, react accordingly okay uh, of course this is because new data in the end of the session has less effect on the VWAP and its variations. Uh, so, uh, this is how, how we can use Volsi's platform to uh, build this chart and, of course, uh, starting to look at VWAPs and its standard deviation. There is a very simple way to attach VWAP on the chart. Uh, let's get to uh, by, by right clicking on the chart and selecting indicators. Uh, VWAP indicator is included in the volume by price main indicator. So all we have to do is opening the indicator by right clicking on it. And as you can see here, we have the VWAP option at the end of its available options. If we open the option, all we have to do is enable and highlight what the VWAP value is. Also, we have to uh, enable the show line option and the developing web option as well with the envelope. Okay. In this case, we can choose by clicking here on show settings what, which envelope we want to enable or not. So in this case, I have uh, enabled only three of them 
The first one is based on a standard deviation of one. The second one is uh, based on a standard deviation of two. And the third one is based on the standard deviation value of three. Okay, we can enable and plot in the chart up to five envelopes. Okay, and of course, for one of, of each, for each one, we can choose the color we want this standard deviation to be plotted. Okay, uh, same thing for the VWAP. We can choose or change the color here between the options. And of course, uh, since the indicator is included within the main indicator volume by price, we can also set with the, the same indicator a volume profile as well for the day. A volume profile will be uh, the topic of the next webinar. So uh, we will, uh, let me just give you a very quick introduction right now so that we can uh, expand this topic next time. Uh, at the moment, I have, of course, attached here in the chart the volume profile as well, but you can't see it because uh, I have basically made it invisible with the zero with a zero opacity. Okay, so uh, all you have to do is uh, plotting this volume by price indicator with the uh, volume volume profile main indicator set to zero opacity and border width to zero as well. Otherwise, what you'll get is, let's make an example, 50% and border one. There we go. We have for each day, the representation of the volume profile as well. Uh, I wanted to say that today already, uh, because just in case you want to be prepared for next webinar, you already have uh, all settings done. Okay, but if you only want to see VWAP at its standard indication in um, deviation, all you have to do is for now leaving. Uh, the plot settings for volume profile main indicator to zero here for volume by price opacity and border to zero as well. Okay. And this is basically what we get acting on the opacity of the volume profile. Of course, why those two indicators come together? Because VWAP is uh, something which is measured on the day, about upon the day. So exactly as well as the volume profile. Uh, so all of the features are, are included within the same indicator. Okay, so uh, let me just check if some of you has question. Apparently not so far. Uh, let me uh, remind you uh, that for uh, if you want to have a, if you want to to take the offer uh, proposed by Volumetrica Trading in collaboration with Tickmill, all you have to do is following uh, the link I am attaching in the chat right now because there is a special offer which will be on for uh, all the period uh, where our webinars will be on. Here it is. All right, so uh, apparently there aren't any questions. So uh, <laughs> I guess uh, I want to say thank you to all of you for the attention and for attending this webinar. Uh, next web, we webinar will be uh, next Monday, same time and uh, same uh, 
the same uh, Zoom credential, uh, and we will be talking about volume profile. So uh, next webinar will be about the uh, main characteristic the main features of the volume pro of a volume of volume profile and they uh, there will be there will be two webinars about volume profile because it, it's quite a uh, complex tool and it will take two webinars to uh, go deeply through it okay so from next time on we will be talking about volume profile and of course we will be uh, as long as we go on with the topics, uh, we will try to connect all of the concepts together. So basically, next time we will also be talking about VWAP and we will try to uh, combine uh, the concepts we have talked about tonight with the new one I will tell you about next week, okay? Uh, one question is the price is the is the price covers data as well uh, no actually no i mean <clears throat> you can have uh for that price uh the platform but uh, you have to have your own data then uh I'm a, a, above terms of condition and conditions uh, everything is explained about the kind of uh refund tick mill uh, will uh, give you back in terms of uh, terms of conditions of course but no actually you have to have your own data which you can then get get connected to the platform uh, as we were uh, talking about at the first webinar okay uh, but just as a quick reminder you can uh, easily connect your uh, TickMill account to the Volsys platform. As you can see here, I have an active connection to a TickMill account right now. And you can easily do that going on the feed section. Okay, this is the main toolbar of Volsys. By selecting feed options, all you have to do is selecting feed settings and uh, typing your username and password provided by the uh, data feed provider. And after, all you have to do is clicking on that feed to get that connected or disconnected as when it's connected you can see it here highlighted in green okay so it's very very easy uh another question what is your volume profile win rate in today's intraday trading um very good question i currently have uh let's say a 70 percent win rate uh 65 70 percent win rate uh if i use a swing intraday strategy uh but uh conducted over a um, projected risk reward ratio to one to one one to one and a half okay so uh this is my most conservative let's say uh, strategy i use or otherwise but i mostly trade scalping in a scalping with a scalping strategy uh with aims to a higher win rate and a lower risk reward ratio thank you so much you're welcome <laughs> Okay, so um, I guess uh, I guess it's all. Let me know if you have more questions about the platform, about the strategy. I hope everything is uh, clear about the uh, the VWAP and the way we can use it. Of course, there is still a lot to say about it because <laughs> actually any any 
trading strategy involving volume uh, comes with so many variables and so many uh, details. But for example, this is something that uh, I would like to uh, talk about with you right now very quickly. Uh, do you remember what uh, I was telling you at the first webinar? So why is volume important and how can we tell if the price is supported, sustained, accompanied by volume? And of course, when it is worth to consider view up as a, a good support or resistance level for a trade we can use of course the we can combine it to the uh, to the volume considerations we were making at the first webinar here price has bounced here on the vwap was price accompanied by volume i would say yes of course let's not take into too much consideration the first volume histogram because of course this is the five the 330 histogram which of course would include the us opening so definitely is it's supposed to be the longest histogram for the day but we had the first wave upwards with lots of volume lots of volume okay and it was as you can see here most of it was bullish volume since it was uh, it is colored here blue its pullback its pullback shows us decreasing volume so basically we have increasing volume on an upward move and decreasing volume on a downwards move and where would price react exactly on a sloping VWAP? And this is a very simple way to combine concepts together. And also this info gives us a very good indication of how we can combine volume related principles together. Okay. All right, so uh, that's all I think. Uh, thank you so much again for your participation, for your attention, and see you on next webinar next Monday. Have a good evening and good trading.